Chicago Fire interim head coach Frank Klobos following the club's 2-1 defeat to FC Dallas. Frank, if you could start with uh, your thoughts on the match. Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, didn't have the start that we wanted to. Came out a little bit flat and it was a little bit of my, my, my concern because, you know, you, you develop a good rhythm when you're playing and, uh, you know, obviously the US Open Cup match, I wanted to right away put that behind us and uh, been talking to the guys after that not to have a letdown and to be focused because there's still a lot to play for for us. And, uh, you know, we were flat from the beginning. I felt we weren't sharp. Uh, we were just a little bit step behind uh, everything. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, give credit to Dallas. They came out and uh, they made it difficult for us. And then we pushed the game late and we got something going, but uh, in the end, uh, we gave up two soft goals, I think, that kind of uh, hurt us. And uh, obviously we were disappointed, very disappointed, uh, not only to to lose, but to lose at home, but also now I think the chances are uh, very slim uh, for the playoffs. So that's all I have to say. Frank, any, any thoughts about switching any substitutions starting the second half opposed to waiting longer? No, but the, with 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 uh, the one zero, I mean, we made uh, a change during the game where I thought we couldn't get uh, Dominic going at all. He couldn't find the game. I think his runs were a little bit predictable, and uh, we had a lot of problems. Uh, we had some problems with with uh, their wing play and uh, their pace. So uh, one, you know, I pushed Dom outside wide, and uh, it was a one zero game, and you know we. Felt that with Diego and, and Saba and bringing Logan in the middle would give us a little bit more strength in the middle, the ability now to have more of the ball and uh, and use our you know use our pace and match up a little bit better. Uh, but then when you gave up the second goal, then you almost you know kind of make changes and because if you lose 2-0, 3-0, it really doesn't matter. We have to push the game and try to get a result. Um, obviously, you guys have you have three players, three starters suspended. Um, Six point back, chance of being so. Is it time to play uh, some of the guys that haven't gotten much of a chance this year? Like which guys? Maybe Victor, Perry, guys like that. Listen, those guys are young guys, and they always have to earn the right to to step on the field. They've done better, but uh, uh, every game we're gonna put the best uh, put the best group out there to give us a chance to win. Those are young guys, and uh, they're developing, and and their moment will come. Right, the team isn't going to make the playoffs this season, but you've had a nice run the last couple months. Talk about your own future. Do you expect to be back as coach? Do you expect to be back as coach? Well, listen, guys. When, when I stepped in, I said we're going to... Uh, I believe in the group, and I still do. And uh, for me, more than anything, with we had 16 to 18 players from last year, and I think it takes time for, uh, for people that have been in the game and have been in teams that... When you look at the, any good team and top teams in the world, it does take some time for players to gel. I think the late additions did help. I think there's a good, there's a good core there that you can build on. And for me, we're going to wait till the end and see. It's not there's going to be a time and place for everything. Uh, and right now, the time is for us to think about the next game in DC. Nothing else. Uh, and my focus is going to be on that, preparing the team, getting the team ready to 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 get a win there. Cameron? What are you looking for in the last two games? You, know, you said, like you said, the playoff chances are pretty slim. We got to finish, you know, finish strong. You know, we got to every time we have an opportunity to 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 step on the field and train, to step on the field and play. It's about improving as a team. You know, so we got to look at this game and see what we can take away. Uh, obviously, we're a team, and we don't believe in excuses. We look at it; it's behind us. There's nothing we can do about. It. We got to look forward. We got to look at now. And starting from from right now, it's about preparing for DC. And uh, you know, and that's all we can do. Here, you know, you always the last. You know, I mean, we every opportunity we get, we're, we're looking to improve as a team, and uh, that's what we're gonna be focusing on. DC and, and obviously the last game against Colombia. Go ahead, Jeff. Last uh, question. Did you feel being a little flat with Marcos' absence to be back tonight? No, I mean, I mean, obviously Marcos is a, is a good player, but uh, we we have other players. I mean. 
I, I brought Patrick uh, more in the middle because I knew that um, they pushed our backs out, you know, get forward. And once we won the ball, we wanted to, with, with, with his pace, obviously, to be a little bit more direct and, and, and see if we can get at him, especially on Zach Lloyd's side when as he pushes forward. And then I knew Diego, once we can't hit him on the transition, obviously, we wanted to find Diego because he had a tendency to drop in the middle, and I thought we could break him down with our combination play. Uh, no, I just think, look, I think there's, the players put a lot in, into it over through the whole season, not over the last two months, you know. Uh, uh, their attitude has been great. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, games like this uh, in a long season do happen. It's unfortunately for us that uh, it happened now. I know that uh, the guys tried, uh, but uh, sometimes, uh, you know, it's, it's not there. What, what can I tell you? In a long season, you're going to... You're going to have some moments uh, like this, unfortunately. It happened at a time when we, we needed to, to win this game. But, uh, you know, the attitude of, of the players, the work that's been put every day, uh, it's been very good. Thanks, guys.